Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. The Adria Tour is over, but the shots keep coming. Several players who competed in the Novak Djokovic-led event have tested positive for the coronavirus, including Nole, Grigor Dimitrov, Borna Toric, and Viktor Troicki. It has caused both severe criticism and the tour's cancellation. Then comes Novak's dad, who made a bombshell of a statement, blaming Grigor Dimitrov for infecting the tour with COVID-19. The elder Djokovic claims that Grigor, who lives in Monaco, brought the virus to Belgrade and he claims the Bulgarian's actions caused, quote, great harm. In an interview with Croatian TV RTL, he said Grigor has caused harm to the people of Croatia and Serbia and to his family. That eye-popping charge was flatly rejected by Grigor's agent, who says it is wrong to make Grigor the fall guy when he followed all of the tour's rules and says Adria Tour organizers didn't follow social distancing and mask protocols. The agent went on to say that Grigor landed directly in Belgrade after three months of isolation and that he wasn't required to pass a test in Belgrade or Zadar, Croatia. He says the event organizers are responsible for running a safe event and for creating the rules they think are necessary to follow. Now, Nick Kyrgios has chimed in on Instagram, chiding Djokovic for pushing the blame and trying to make Grigor the scapegoat. Grigor himself has apologized for any harm he may have caused and is currently self-isolating back home in Monaco. His agent says he expects to make a full recovery. Meantime, Grigor and Novak are good friends. They're practice partners, but right now it's not clear if the two have spoken since Novak's dad made those statements. Now, criticism of the Adria Tour spiked when video surfaced of several players, including Novak, Alexander Zarev, and Grigor, dancing shirtless in a Serbian nightclub. The players apparently weren't social distancing or wearing masks. Clearly, we have not heard the last of this controversy, and of course, we'll keep you updated as we learn more. Here's the question. Who's to blame for all this? Is it the tour organizers? Participating nations for not requiring tests? Was it Novak, all the players, all of the above? Sound off in the comment section below, and we'll see you next time.